Yep. What's up, everybody? My name is Russ, rwgresearch.com. My hat's a little small. That's all I could find laying around. I had to wear something. You don't want to see my hair, do you? Or my bald spot. Anyway, so today's video is a bit random. So I have this mouse here. This mouse is a very old gateway mouse. I'm, I'm talking at least 10 years. I don't know if it even has a date on it, but it is freaking old. Now, this at one time had rechargeable batteries in it. It sits on a base, which I don't have in here. The pen's right there. So you set it on a base, it recharges. So at one point in time, I replaced these batteries with rechargeables. Now, these are 1.5 volt nickel metal hydrate batteries, if I can get them out. And at one point in time, I replaced this. Get it out. There. So I replaced these one time with these rechargeable batteries to make up a, uh, what is that, 3.6 volt battery. So what I decided I was going to attempt to do, since I don't have any of these batteries, I do have a, a 3.7 volt lithium ion battery right here. So this, along with this charge controller, which is just a Chinese charge controller I bought off eBay get in there it's got the safety circuit the cutoff for uh, low voltage the high voltage cuts off when it's disc or when it's uh, charging it's just a fully functional safety circuit built in lithium ion battery charger so I thought what if I could get this in here along with the charger and then put it back together so that's what I'm going to try to do so I'm going to fix this mouth with a rechargeable lithium ion but I, I have to put the safety circuit in there because this is not designed for that so we'll see how that goes alright so getting into this this basically only has two pins power ground um, so the good thing is is that the actual mouse has the charger output the voltage battery input and the ground so I can isolate these so this charger happens to be uh, 6.5 volt down to I think uh, 4.5 volt or something so with that said the output voltage here is actually about 8 volts uh, according to the charger it's 9 volts so what I'm gonna have to do is put in one of these other little cheap circuits uh, and this is gonna basically convert my voltage down to the correct voltage I'll have to adjust it and set it so I'm gonna have to pack all this in here so what I think I'm gonna do is just make it fit here somehow and then just cut the back of this part out so it looks like it's a cover We'll see how that goes. Alright, well apparently this is an up converter, not a down converter. So, luckily, George, this guy, George from 3D Printers, George's 3D Printers.com, sent me some stuff a while back and one of them happens to be a 5 volt regulator so I'm gonna just solder up the two capacitors and this simple 5 volt regulator this is actually for an Arduino and this little guy will do just what we need bad lighting again terrible alright let's fix this All right, after much frustration, there's the 5-volt regulator. Golly, this is terrible footage. Anyway, let's test it. All right, I lied. I forgot to add the input wire. Now it's done. Success. We have 5-volt out. <laughs> All right, good news. It's working 
charging as I got it on. That's a good thing. Now we gotta hook up the rest of it. Okay, here we are. So it is actually working. It is on. You can see. And set it on a charger. Red light comes on. That means it's charging. Green light comes on. So now we just gotta fit this in here and try to get the cap back on. Alright, using some generic hand tools, I managed to get most of this out of here. Little piece right here for the uh, the battery to sort of stick through. I want to try to just press this in there and see if it fits. I did put Kapton tape around everything just so we don't short anything out as well. I was gonna hot glue all this in here, but I think I'll leave it and see how it looks, see how it fits. Well, my wife's complaining because I had her pause the video every time I talked. And it's been two hours. This is way longer than I expected. However, goal achieved. So, no reason to poke a hole in here to indicate whether or not it's charging. I don't really care. This is a good enough indicator for me. And, uh... Do I have to turn it on? Hope oh, it's sinking. Oh, I turned it off. Let's see if I can get it to come back on. There it goes. All right, so it's on. It's working. This light tells me it's on. It's working. So it's charging. We're good. Take it off. There, it's on. So I ended up just hot gluing the end shut. Uh, I didn't want to use super glue because if I used super glue, uh, I wouldn't be able to get it apart and replace anything if I had to. Hopefully this works. It's got a safety charge controller on it. It shouldn't catch on fire, which is what happened last time in the kitchen. Anyway, um, yeah, this is basically everything I have electronic-wise in my house. I had to <laughs> dig around for a while. So anyway, thanks again to... Uh, George from George's 3D Printers, go check it out. Saved me this time. Um, that's actually for an Arduino, but whatever. So if you've never actually seen one of these mice, this is a Gateway, so the company, I don't even know if the Gateway company is still around, but this was their first mouse. And actually, the keyboard is right here. So this is like the very first keyboard and mouse that was ever used on the... Uh, on the gateway computers. It doesn't have a date on it. But anyway, this has a nice shield on it. This was designed for a media PC. I can never get this thing open. Uh, pop it. There we go. So this was actually designed for a media PC back in the day. And you actually just hold this button right here and then it, it actually works as a gyro. That's how you move it around. It's got the scroll wheel, left and right click. It's actually a <laughs> One of my favorite mice, uh, but then you can also use it on the desk. It's got a laser and the keyboard, and it's all built into a single. Um, actually, I'll show you because it's kind of cool. So it's all built into the same receiver, and it's got a little antenna. I don't know what frequency it runs on, but anyway, that's the end of this story. Success did not go as planned, but got it done. Oh, she's mad. Look at her. Look at her. She's mad. She's waiting to watch her show. Uh-oh. Three minutes on my counter. Okay. Peace out, everyone. Leave a comment. Love you guys. Bye. Such a, such a simple project, but man, what a mess. Jeez. 
Ho 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 ho! Even after all these years, it still works! They do make good stuff! Check it out. So this is... You probably can't see it even moving, can you? Anyway, I'm controlling the mouse. Maybe I can get you a little bit of a zoom in. Da -da -da. Can you see it? I'll get this in there. So, do do do. It's pretty cool. It works really well. And then, of course, you can just set it on the table and, and it works the same way. So, anyway, that's freaking sweet, man. And I have a computer now in the teeny tiny little space that I actually have in here. But, uh,. It's fine. I think it's worth it. The, I used this for years, and I I stopped using it, and the battery died. So now we have a lithium-ion version of this guy. It's pretty cool. This is at least ten years old. At least that'd be what twenty oh six. Yeah. Let's see that? Yeah, that's about right. It's at least that old. It's probably older than that. Okay. Peace out. Gateway actually was a pretty good company. And the computer that this originally was like with, I gave to a friend. It was probably the coolest PC I've ever seen. But uh, I guess I'll shut that off. Anyway, peace out. Leave a comment. Bye.